Garcia says, uh, can you help me with the following issue? One of my clients need to know the geolocation of his workers from Office 365. Is there a way to solve it? I appreciate your suggestions. So uh, Garcia is asking, is there a stocking function <laughs> feature? Um, to, to answer your question, there is a way to do it. Are you going to get actual reliable data? Probably not. Um, and there's a couple of reasons for that. Number one is you can take and you can go into 365. You can at, you either go through MS Graph query uh, directly through the API, um, or you could use PowerShell, um, or you could go into the reports. And they do have a field for the IP address of the user. Um, that IP address is not readily shown in the M365 reports. You actually have to unmask it. OK, um, and and that's just for security purposes. They don't you know, want that to be visible to anyone. So uh, you can get the IP address. Now, the question is, once you get an IP address, does that really tell you where a person is? Um, because we're, we are in the age of VPNs. Folks. I'm I am in Albuquerque <laughs> right now, folks. Yeah, yeah. So we're in the age of VPN. So wherever your IPS is pointing, um, you know, it's not where you are. So to geolocate, unless you want to like, you know, start chipping your employees um, or having them walk around with air tags uh, or something like that, you're really not going to get accurate information from. I mean, 365 or any other yeah. type of, of, of software application that doesn't have some type of physical, I mean, and physical, I mean, actual physical attachment to the user. Yeah. Well, that, I, that's something that if you're talking about uh, being able to see uh, people within your offices globally and which offices that they're working out of, that's one thing, but there's no guarantee. To your point, if you're using a personal device, yep. like I've, I've got my VPN software running on my laptop, which is my personal laptop, not a work device, and it would skew those results right That's, there. Absolutely. absolutely. Um, and I've got a personal phone. So, I mean, the really, the, uh, ideally, if you're trying to track this kind of information, your employees are on work laptops, work phones, and you're tracking in company premises. You're using MDM or you're using Intune, you're using something, and that can actually track the physical location of the device because it uses agents, right? And those agents don't right. lie, right? The agents don't lie to each other, you know, back to back to home base, whatever that is. Um, but, you know, and it'll even tell you, hey, these users are trying to install VPN software, uh, you know, you can block that and you can. Right. You know, well, so. with M MDM, so mobile device management, does that, does that have built in the geolocation or do you still need to go and unmask it? Is it track it, but you still need to go through those other steps? You still have to unmask. Unma yeah. the, the IP yeah. address is considered PI information. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, you, you know, you, you, you can't just view it. Right. Okay. Well, I just didn't know if that was an option to turn on. Uh, it's know. an option. It's an option if you do your own reports. I mean, if you do custom reports, you obviously can have it unmasked, or you can pull from the Graph API um, as well. But in the generic, uh, I think uh, pre-boxed reports, you can't see that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm uh, pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess if you, uh, I mean, one other thought here. I don't know how practical this is, but you can also require you know, upon login that it doesn't, you could script something so that it doesn't allow you to log in with a VPN running. So you have to like take the wall down, log in so it pings and knows where you are and then start but back up. But that, that, okay. So give you an idea. There's, you guys have heard of NordVPN. NordVPN yeah. is, yeah. it's NordVPN is probably the most popular VPN used in the world besides Bit, Bitfender and some other ones. Uh, NordVPN actually will disguise itself in stealth. Um, so even if you had something that tried to go out and detect an IP, you know, so that it's not, you know, a VPN is actually running, it doesn't doesn't say it's VPN and it doesn't, it doesn't, it masks itself at the NIC level, at the network card level. So it's really difficult um, 
to, to determine that. The one thing that might be different is cell phones. They have built in GPS. They do, depending, but they, and depending they do. On the app, well, for example, my Android phone, uh, I can find that phone. Well, if I you log can. into. Okay. So first, Hal, you have to be trusted to find that phone. Okay. So mm -hmm. you have to be trusted. Now, is that going to be uh, the employer going to be trusted to each employee's personal phone? Probably not. Okay. Or it's second, all taken. Yeah. Second of all, you can always track a cell phone via the IEMI. Okay. That 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 is something that could never change on a cell True. phone, right? Because it can be, you know, they can they can spoof it or whatever, but the original IEMI is always there because it's hard coded in the chip. It's hard coded in the phone. Um, but and you can trace that through towers. You know, you can you can actually find the physical location through towers. The problem is, is that VPN software now will mask the IMI. It still exists, but they mask it. So it, it's you know, it's it's really difficult. <laughs>